Okay, everybody, we are starting uh, today with the Bandolier Bag, which is part of the Indigenous Americas Unit, Unit 5. Uh, this is the Lenape tribe tribe from uh, the Delaware area, which is like New York uh, on the Delaware River. Uh, so this is a tribal group from that area of uh, Delaware. So taking a look at these bags, really the bag is, there's a, a indigenous term for it, which I'm not going to try to pronounce, which basically means it's a bag worn across the shoulder. And you can see in these two images that you have uh, the Native American here wearing the bandolier bag across the shoulder and the bag rest at the hip area. The design comes really from European soldiers who were carrying guns and they use these cross the body bags to hold their ammunition. So when interacting with the Native Americans, they kind of adopted this style and used it probably for more ceremonial purposes some of these Native American bandolier bags didn't even have pockets or places to hold anything. It was more of a visual expression um, there instead of a more utilitarian function like the European bags would have. Um, women would make these, but you can clearly see with these two guys here that men wore the bags uh, going forward a little bit. Um, talking about materials and how they came to be, um, materials were, uh, I'm going to go forward just a little bit, animal hide. Uh, you can see a little bit of that back in the back of the bags there, the main structural part. Um, they had silk, which came from the Europeans, you know, the silk ribbons down below here. Uh, the beads, the glass beads they got from trade with the Europeans. The designs come from interaction with other tribal groups because they used to make them, which is kind of crazy. They used to make their woven items out of porcupine quills. So I put a cute little picture of a porcupine here so you could see just how sharp and uh, elongated, linear, these porcupine quills were. They had to really manipulate those, soften them, and you know, the weaving with porcupine quills would have to be very specific. So when they traded with the Europeans and got these smaller glass beads, that gave them a different type of design that they could make. So it altered their the look of the bandolier bags. It altered the look of their designs. So this piece in particular, part of the important thing about this, which they could ask you on College Board, is how trade and how the movement of the Native Americans and their interaction with different tribal groups really impacted the design and the materials. That's why I have this slide up. It shows you Andrew Jackson, Jackson right here, the president at the time. Uh, he enacted an Indian Removal Act of 1830, which caused the Native Americans, and here you see a, an artistic rendering of what's called the Trail of Tears, when the Native Americans had to move from their ancestral lands to different parts of the United States. And our Lenape tribe had to move from the New York area to like Oklahoma and parts of Canada and different, maybe like Wisconsin. So they are in the process when they're moving, interact with different tribal groups, which give them their different designs. And the design itself, uh, is called, here, I'll go to this slide, uh, really the prairie style. And prairie style was based in like floral patterns, both natural floral patterns and abstract ones. This one has a more abstract floral pattern, I would say. Um, they were brightly colored, which you definitely can see here, bright colors. And sometimes we think the colors represented different ideas. You can see the dark area over here, a lighter background on this side. So maybe the dark area was like a representation of the underworld. The lighter might be the sky. Uh, so we think the colors might have represented different ideas and also the, the arrangement of the shapes. Uh, a lot of times you'll see like 
sections of four, four quadrants that could represent the north, south, east, west compass points, or how the cosmos was arranged, or how the earth was arranged. Uh, so a lot of the symbols, shapes, colors you see might represent something very specific. Um, and then taking a look close up, you can see how trade with the Europeans, you know, getting silk, uh, getting the beads, getting different materials allowed for these different textures, uh, you know, contrasting textures, the shine of the beads, the smoothness of the beads with the more ragged and uh, you know, rough texture of the um, fringe here versus the smooth texture of the silk. Uh, and so those items they got again through trade with the Europeans and again, the imagery from the different tribal groups as they went across the West to their new homes in the, uh, you know, from the Indian Removal Act. So again, ceremonial worn by men made by women, uh, influence shape from the Europeans, design influenced and materials influenced by the Europeans, and also the different Native American groups that the Lenape encountered as they moved west. All right, that's it for the bandolier bags, and um, looking forward to our next video. Take care.